Virginia Space Flight Academy. Brain stretching fun. Each summer since 1998, the Academy has offered young men and women ages 11 to 15 the opportunity to learn about rockets, robotics, science, and math while having a fun week-long resident camp experience. The Academy is located near Wallops Island Flight Facility, NASA's primary center for suborbital rocket launches and research. Part of the camper's exciting week is touring and seeing the day-to-day -day workings of NASA, NOAA, and the U.S. Navy operations on Wallops Island. At the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, campers visit the machine shop to see how rocket parts are made, including the Antares rocket, and then how the massive rockets are assembled. They visit the testing laboratory, where engineers spin and shake the payloads to simulate what they must endure in space. Depending on the schedule, One, some campers may be able to see the actual launching of a rocket during their stay at the Academy. At NOAA, the campers see the control center for monitoring the weather satellites. The information is distributed to all weather offices and facilities to track and evaluate significant weather events and prepare warnings and forecasts. There's a visit to the Wallops Island Flight Facility Fire Department, including an exciting demonstration of one of the crash trucks. At the Navy's Aegis Engineering and Training Complex, which contains sufficient equipment to duplicate the combat systems of all operational cruisers, destroyers, amphibious, and carriers, campers run through an actual combat training simulation. Campers are bused to the various activities in modern air-conditioned vehicles, equipped with seat belts. In addition to the special access to Wallops Island, campers work on two major projects of their own, rocketry and robotics. Gibber was very excited to have a chance to explore more in science by rocketry and building robots because it's been his desire since he was seven. One of the great things about Virginia Space Flight Academy is that kids learn by doing. In teams of two or three, they creatively build and program robots using LEGO Mindstorm NXT systems. At the end of the week, campers demonstrate their robots' ability to successfully perform tasks while competing for awards. Each camper designs, builds, and launches three types of rockets. They begin by making water bottle rockets. These are made by gluing two carbonated beverage bottles together, weighted with pennies and a ping pong ball. Campers choose the design and strategically place the fins using principles of aerodynamics for optimum lift. The fun begins as each camper launches their rocket using water pressure. Five, four, three, two, one. Next, they move on to Alpha-1 stage rockets, the first choice of rocket modelers for over 30 years. These are easy to build, can reach an altitude of 600 feet, and have an 18-inch parachute. And finally, a team of campers builds and launches the Estes Mongoose two-stage rocket. The Mongoose can soar to amazing heights of over 1,800 feet. Standing over 26 inches tall, this high-flying rocket will descend back to Earth on a shiny 18-inch parachute. All rockets are assembled and launched under the watchful eyes of experienced counselors. Camper safety is always number one. When you're shooting off rockets, safety is number one, and they taught our kids that every moment. Mealtime is fun as well. Breakfast and lunch is served at the Wallops Flight Facility Cafeteria. The food is excellent and varied to accommodate most dietary requirements. And the campers share mealtime with military, research, and science personnel. Dinners have included a meal at a firehouse, cookouts, and local eateries. In the evening, there's fun on nearby Chincoteague, go-karts, miniature golf, bungee jumping, bumper boats, beach combing, and a delicious visit to the ice cream shop. Student dormitories, new for 2010, are state-of-the-art, suite-like accommodations. Generally, 10 to 12 students share an air-conditioned suite of four bedrooms with one overnight counselor per dorm. There are two bathrooms per suite, each with two separate showers, with changing rooms and two private toilet stalls. 
counselors come from several colleges. All counselors are pursuing careers in education or engineering, and all have current first aid and CPR certification. On the last day of camp, parents are invited to attend the graduation, where campers receive awards for the most creative robots, awards for the best designed and highest flying rockets, and certificates of course completion for all campers. And campers relate the fun they have had and share photos with the families. Since the Virginia Space Flight Academy is a 501c3 charitable foundation, through the generous contributions of several of our partners, we've been able to offer scholarships. Through an essay contest, the Academy partners with the Accomack County Public Schools to offer full scholarships. I play sort of a dual role here um, in that I work with Accomack County um, in terms of providing um, new scholarships um, with, in conjunction with the Virginia Space Flight Academy um, uh, for students. And so I was kinda, it's kind of neat to see you know, our students have these kinds of opportunities that they might not otherwise have. Um, as a parent, it was nice to see him you know, develop some independence um, and to be courageous enough you know, to be away from home you know, for a few days as he attended the Space Flight Academy. We offer a special thanks to our corporate, individual, and foundation sponsors who make scholarships possible for campers to experience the educational opportunities at camp. While campers come from near and far, we have seen that they quickly make new friends and enthusiastically support their efforts to be future rocket scientists or just model rocket fans. If your child shows any interest in rocketry and robots um, and space flight, they need to come. Virginia Space Flight Academy, brain-stretching fun. <laughs>